Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing you another video. And what you're seeing in the background is gameplay of almost every new skin they released, along with general Zod gameplay. Now, when I say almost every skin, I am literally missing the Man of Steel skin. I tried to download this thing maybe a million times, and it keeps giving me the same error, guys. So you will definitely see some Zod gameplay maybe later today or maybe even in a couple hours or tonight of him facing Zod you know Man of Steel skin facing Zod so yeah be expecting that but for now I'm showing I'm showcasing the Earth 2 skins the Blackest Night 2 skins and this is Solomon Grundy computer being a douche right there <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm showcasing the Earth 2 skins right now this is Earth 2 Flash versus Earth 2 Grundy um, and then there's a uh, Earth 2 Hawk Girl, and then I'm showcasing Blackest Night 2 skin pack, which is Batman, Aquaman, and um, Hawk Girl as well. And then there's General Zod gameplay. So, yeah, what I wanted to talk about today is actually my impressions on the skins and friggin' General Zod himself. So I got enough playing time in. To, you know kind of get the feel of him if you saw my video before this I just got a nice 50% combo with his super move so uh, so yeah he's he's kind of like it's just very different there's one move that I can't like figure out how to do and that's the um what is it the friggin uh, the phantom zone move where he puts like your opponent in the phantom zone and then punches them I can't figure out how to do that. I don't see it in the moves list. I'm, I might be missing something. But a um, few things maybe people want to know about. Yes, his trait doesn't just automatically hit. Uh, it's not even incredible. You know, it doesn't, like, the hit detection on it isn't 100%. So that's good. You know, it isn't OP as hell. But um, it is very useful for air attacks or even just to grab your opponent and to, you know, get them off your ass if you're really getting attacked. Um, and yeah, you just got to keep pressing B or I believe it is down back and then B for the phantom creature to grab your opponent and bite his shoulder, you know? So yeah, it's, it's triggered on your own, you know, it's manually, it's, it doesn't just do what it does. So it's not OP at all. It's a very useful trait that is for sure. But at the same time, it's also very hard if you're going to play like a ranked match or, Oh yeah, and also the classic Ares skin. That's the free skin we get with the compatibility pack. Uh, but yeah, sidetrack. But um, yeah, to trigger the trait, like to start it, is very, very, you know, difficult. Especially if like you're gonna be in a player match or a ranked match, you gotta do it when your opponent's down. You know, when you got time. Otherwise, it's very unsafe. But other than that, yeah, his trait is actually really good, and it's extremely useful. That is for sure. Other things that I could talk about, Zod, um, he's, he's just, like I said, his stance in the trailer that I said this, his stance is a little bit distracting, you know, it's just kind of weird the whole, the whole way it is, but at the same time, you know, it's just completely badass, nonchalantly beat the shit out of your opponent, um, but yeah, it's a little bit distracting, and I'm having problems, I think this is just my controller, but I'm having problems dashing forward. Uh, so yeah, and um, a lot of his moves are just easy to, to string together, you know, um, the whole Kryptonian gun, not like the, like the, the space gun that shoots the three bullets that launches you in the air, that is actually an incredibly good move, but it's really hard to, to do anything after that, you know, the way they did in the trailer, he landed it perfectly with the back A, but for me, it's it's very it's it's taking a lot of trouble to land that move so yeah that's it's pretty hard to do some of his combos but at the same time you know his his you know three four hit combos that you can do you know xxy this and that those are extremely easy to connect with super moves so i'm really glad about that um he's definitely not anywhere close to a superman clone not anywhere close um you know he he has some similar moves like you know the obviously the laser vision and some combos with the ice breath 
but nowhere near Superman's moves list. That is for sure. And that's what I said in my uh, in my wish list video where I said I wanted Zod. They've made characters like Black Adam. They've made characters like Batgirl and Nightwing. Obviously, they're not going to make these characters characters that will just be, you know, copied moves lists. They're going to make them unique and very different from the roster. So they did that perfectly with Zod. I don't think I ever really saw most of his moves lists coming. Um... I love the trait, it's very unique, you know, and he's just, he's all around a extremely unique character, uh, and I'm just really glad that one of my wish list choices was put into this game. Um, he's, uh, he's a power character, so, you know, he, he can pick up the cars and stuff like that when it comes to interactables and whatnot, um, and... That's just about it. His grab move is awesome. I love that. Neo before Zod. You know, who wouldn't? Uh, so, yeah, that is awesome. And, yeah, that's just about it for Zod. In terms of the skins, I am loving them. Uh, Aquaman is one of my favorite characters in this game. I think he is my main, basically. So, I am so glad that that is a skin in this game. Uh, the Blackest Knight Aquaman, that is. So, yeah, that skin is awesome, and I totally love it. The Earth 2 skin pack is honestly one of my favorite skin packs to date. It is amazing looking. Like, Flash's Earth 2 costume is seriously one of the coolest costumes ever. It's just so awesome. Uh, I, I'm starting to like Hawkgirl now, uh, and I'm trying to, uh, I don't know if you saw earlier with the Hawkgirl gameplay that was up. I actually dropped like a 33% combo that I just learned there. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, but yeah, and now that she's got like the two skins, her Earth 2 costume is pretty cool. And her Blackest Night costume is definitely awesome. Um, and I'm really glad about Batman's Blackest Night. Because uh, I, I never got that through the pre-order bonus and I really wanted that skin. So I finally got that. Um... And the one costume I wanted to talk about, which I didn't even see coming, was Ares Classic costume. That is awesome. You know, I totally didn't see that coming. Uh, but only thing is I wanted the blue. You know, I wanted the blue color, which I believe the original classic Ares costume is. It's blue. But whatever. Either way, they did a really good job with that costume. And it's the free one. So what's not to like about that? It's definitely one of the coolest uh free skins we've got for sure and i totally didn't see it coming so that's awesome um and yeah that's that's just about it um all these characters you can buy now they're up uh to buy on the psn store or the um marketplace on xbox and uh they're awesome you know everything that came out today is actually totally worth it i can't wait to try out the man of steel skin see what it looks like and everything so yeah tell me what you guys think about these skins and generals odd if you've played them yet i'm caboose xbl like favorite comment and subscribe see you guys later